welcome to Wonder Zone. Yes, good morning, children. You're joining me, Molly Cure. And me, Jen Ettics. And together, we'll be bringing you the top headlines to keep you in the loop of discovery. Yes, today, Molly, we have a whole world of discovery for these young explorers. Yes, here at Wonder Zone, we love to unearth the wondrous secrets of the world and bring them slap bang into focus for you. Yes, Molly. But to start things off, we have our Wonder Zone song. Oh, Hi, children. Yes, up on your feet. Come on, let's learn the song together. Today, please. 
My deep thought for today is this. Did you know that if you drilled a hole through the earth and then jumped into that hole, it would take you precisely 42 minutes and 12 seconds to reach the other end? Wow, that is fascinating. Incredible. Thanks, astronaut Billy. Well, it's time now for the all-important weather report from our weather expert, Wendy. This is your very own wonderful Wendy from the Weather Zone, giving you a daily weather report, whether you like it or whether you don't. I am here to warn you of serious weather on its way here. It is actually leaving Russia in Vladivostok and it's coming right towards us, turning right at Brighton and it's going to hit us hard. Now, this week you must be prepared. That is our motto this week. Now, the first thing we must do when we are expecting bad weather is we must get the right kit on. You don't want to be found in your sunglasses and your sunbathing kit, eating your 99s, licking your ice cream when the weather's going to hit you. You've got to be prepared. So first of all, we've got to have a very sturdy waterproof coat, one that covers most of you. Do it up and you pull it on and you get that hood right up. Oh, here we are. We're still here. Okay. And we do it up. That will do nicely. Now, we're in for some shocking cold weather. So what we need is a scarf. We need a scarf and we need a pair of gloves. I have my very own Finchu Lake gloves here. These can take Arctic conditions. And the other thing we need is a pair of fancy welly boots. I'm rather fancy, don't you? Mm -hmm. State of the art, modern, you know, fashionable. So the weather is going to be so windy that it would be better to put some heavy stones in here so that it can't topple you over. And then we need a trusty umbrella because you don't want to get wet. So, I recommend you tune in every day to this wonderful Wendy, that's me, weather report from the weather zone, and you'll get the weather whether you like it or whether you don't. Wendy there with the weather. Yes, thanks Wendy. Molly, I think that these children look like they need a bit of waking up and shaking up. Mm. What do you say? Jen, I think their muscles are looking a little bit flabby. I think it's time to bring out the Wonder Zone squad so that we can have a proper workout. Oh yeah. Woo! What a great workout. Oh. Can you flex your muscles? Oh, wow. fantastic. Oh, oh you're yeah. looking very good. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think you're now ready for our top story. We're going to join Ooh. Professor Bubblepuff live in her lab.
Professor Bubblepuff. I specialize in inventing, exploring, melting and curing, fizzing and popping, and most of all, discovering. I want to learn more. But the thing I want more than anything else in the world is wisdom. The knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. And there was a man who had wisdom. His name was King Solomon. Let us discover as we learn more. Hi children, my name's Susie and I'm gonna tell you a story. Thousands of years ago, there lived a man called Solomon and he was the son of King David in the Bible. Do you remember King David? You might have heard of him. David was the one that when he was a boy, he defeated the great big giant Goliath. Do you remember? Well, Solomon was his son. And when Solomon became king, he was just a boy, really. He was very young. And one night, while Solomon was sleeping, God came to him in a dream. And he said to Solomon, Solomon, ask me for whatever you want me to give to you. Whoa, can you imagine God asking you that question? What would you ask for? Would you ask for mountains of marshmallows? Mm. Or a truck full of toys? Or a giant bag of sweets? <laughs> I think I would. But do you know what Solomon asked for? Solomon said to God, Lord God, I am your servant king and I'm really young. I have a lot of people to rule over and I don't really know how to rule over them. God, would you give me wisdom so that I know right from wrong? And you know what? God was so pleased that Solomon had asked for wisdom instead of asking for wealth, ka-ching, or good health, ha-ha, or fame, ha <laughs> that God said, because you haven't asked for wealth and health and a long life and fame, because you didn't ask for all of those things, I'm going to give you wisdom, what you asked for, but I'm also going to give you good health and wealth and a long life if you follow me. Well, Solomon couldn't believe his ears. <laughs> wow. And you know what? King Solomon was so wise. He was the wisest king there ever was. And he was so wise that people came from far and wide to ask him all their difficult, tricky questions and to get his advice because he had got God's wisdom. God had given him wisdom. Hmm. I think I need more wisdom. Do you? And so you see, children, wisdom is what I want. Do you? My name's Kate and I'm going to help us to think today about how the story of Solomon fits in to God's big story. Solomon was a man who had a really kind heart. He wanted to honour God and do the best job that he could do. Solomon wanted to show love to God. God made all of us to show love too, so we can be like Solomon and we can do the best job that we can do in the world and show love to other people. Solomon wanted to be the best king. He wanted to be a king that the world would really love. A king that could show the world that kings could be different, that kings could rule from a place of love rather than a place where they had to be in charge and get cross all of the time. Solomon wanted to be a fair king and he wanted the world to see that this sort of king could exist. Solomon was young and he knew that this was not going to be an easy job to do on his own. So Solomon needed to ask God for a gift. Solomon asked God for the gift of wisdom. God's superpower helped Solomon. It gave him this wonderful gift to be wise. 
Now we can chat to God in the same way that Solomon chatted to God when Solomon chatted to him in his dream. Solomon was blessed by God with a gift. Now when somebody gives us a gift, quite often we might put out our hands to receive it. And it's the same when we get a gift from God. We can put our hands out to receive that gift. So when we're talking to God, we can put our hands out ready to receive the gift that he might want to give us. We're going to have a chat with God now. God loves it when we chat to him. He's always there to listen to us chatting to him. So you can chat to him any time of day or any time of night. This is how we chat to God. Dear God, thank you for the story of Solomon. Thank you that Solomon asked you for a gift that helped him to be the best king that he could be. Lord Jesus, we all want to show love just like Solomon did. Help us to ask you for gifts that will help us to be the best people that we can be. Thank you for the story of Solomon. And thank you that it helps us to think about our own lives and how we can show love in the world around us. Amen. Yes, Prime Minister. <laughs> of course, Prime Minister. I'm sure the giant locusts were a one-time thing. <laughs> yes, if they show back up, I promise I'll put them in the Discovery team. <laughs> yes, goodbye. <laughs> oh. oh, hello, young scientists. Good to have you with us. I am Professor P.T. Pipette, Head of Scientific Discovery at the Wonder Zone. Here, we investigate the biggest, the best, and the most intriguing scientific phenomenon. Oh, excellent. You'll soon be introduced to the Discovery Team. Together, you will have the privilege of joining them on a geophysical, geochemical, geological exploration of volcanology. Surfing the lava, frolicking through the magma, and parkouring through the pyroclastic rock at the heart of a flaming volcano. You will have the great pleasure of accompanying the team in our very own wonder of technology, the transporter. You are in for such a treat. You are about to meet some of the most brilliant scientific minds that this generation has ever known. The most awe-inspiring, masterful, galvanizing... Excuse me, who is this? Hello? 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 Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you scared me! Oh. oh, let me just get my breath back! Oh. Oh. Um, hello, who are you? Oh. Oh. It's me, Kyle, the cleaner. And you are? Professor P.T. Pipette. Oh, nice to meet you, P.T. No, that's P.T. Yes, P.T. I'm Kyle. No, it's not P.T. It's P.T. It stands for... Oh, look, never mind. Where is my team of brilliant scientific minds? Well, I don't know about brilliant. Messy, more like. And after their last mission, they left their transporter in such a state. I thought I'd come down here, give it a little clean, before they take off again. Hello? Hello? 
Hello there. Hello. It's uh, Brenda Blessing here. Brenda reporting for duty. Professor Pipette, are you there? Yes, yes, we're here. Hello, Brenda Blessing. Ah, hello. And hello, young intrepid scientists. <laughs> are you all ready to explore the igneous delights? Oh, yes, these young scientists are raring to go. Right, Brenda Blessing, we've had some interesting readings from a volcano in Iceland, and I need you and your team to investigate. Sir, as always, it will be an honour. I will assemble a team at once. Right. First off, we have Yasmin, the mechanic, lab technician, lab assistant, and sometimes lab rat. Yasmin, do you read me? Come in, Yasmin. Yasmin? Yasmin? Yasmin! Oh, oh my goodness gracious me! Yasmin here! Yasmin, are you ready for our next big adventure? Oh yes, yes I am. I've been waiting so long for this opportunity and can I just say thank you so much for thinking of me. Yes, yes, yes. Just make sure you're ready to go. Okay. Ready! Wow. My goodness, that was efficient. Right, Yasmin, I need you to pack a few things, all right? I need my long johns, my rubber ducky, my spare socks, my sunblock back to 1,000, just in case. And did I mention extra socks? Because when my brain works, my feet get real sweaty and I need those socks to soak up the sweat. Um, right, I'm going to use a lot of brain power for this mission. Right, uh, yes, so they're essential, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, got it all packed and ready. Excellent. I'll see you on the transporter, over and out. Now, Brenda Blessing, how about that brother of yours? <laughs> ah, yes, Brian Blessing, his research assistant and sandwich connoisseur. Ah, yes. Where is he? He should be here. We told him what time we were starting. Sorry about this, young scientist. This won't take a minute. Ah, Professor, good to hear from you. Brian, where are you? You're meant to be leaving for Iceland any minute now to explore strange volcanic activity. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. I just need to stop at the bakery. Did you know they make the best custard liver Brussels sprout and peanut butter sandwiches. Ooh, I'm on my way now. I just, uh, ooh, I just did a spot of traffic. Um, I better get off the phone because it's dangerous to talk on the phone while driving. Ah, 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 ah. What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, how terrible. Oh, how awful. What? I dropped my sandwich. Listen, is it okay if I go now? It's kind of hard to drive while holding my phone and eating my sandwich. Brian, you need to be here now. We're about to start the mission. Yes, yes, love you too. Bye. I guess we'll need to wait for him. What? Brenda Blessing never waits? For goodness sake. Those strange volcanic readings aren't going to read themselves, you know. Wait a minute. Aren't you going to look at the readings first? Ah, readings, meetings. Who needs those? Nah when you can go out and get live readings for yourself. Mm -hmm. Brenda Blessing only trusts her own observations. But... Are you ready, Yasmin? These siblings will be the death of me. Packed and ready. Super duper. All righty then. <laughs> Let's get going. But... but right. Bags packed and loaded, check. Extra socks, check. Transporter systems running, check. Seat belts on, check. Right, blasting off in five. Um, um, Professor, Professor Blessing, I'm having trouble with this seat belt. Four, three. Professor Blessing, I can't seem to find my, uh... Two. Hold on to your goggles, Yasmin! to 
disembark. Oh, that was exhilarating. Oh my goodness. Wasn't that exhilarating, Yasmin? <laughs> Whoa. I'm stepping out onto the volcano now. Yasmin, Yasmin, can you lo locate my, uh, my seismometer in my seismograph? Wow, my feet are really starting to sweat. My brain must be working extra hard. Good job I brought all of these extra socks. I'm going to need them like a swimming pool down in my shoes. Um, you guys, is it getting toasty in here? It's definitely heating up. <laughs> uh, Brian Blessing to Brenda Blessing. Come in, Brenda. Do you read me? Brian! Brian, you should see this place. It's incredible. Awesome. So, uh, uh, what are the readings exactly? Brian, that's what I'm here to find out. You didn't look at the readings before you left? No, I prefer to use my own experience. See things with my own eyes, Brian. You see? My own eyes. Take my own readings. Okay, I suppose your reasoning is sound. Yeah. It's getting toasty in here. Oh, me. Oh, my, that was... Um... Professor Blessing, something's not right here. The temperature's way above normal for this part of the globe at this time of year. What's that? These, these readings are off the charts. Professor Blessing, the volcano, it's gonna blow. you once, once I've told, I've told you, a you a thousand, thousand times, times to look to before look you leave. leave. But do but you do listen? listen? No, no, you don't, don't do you? No, no it's, it's explore it's this, adventure, adventure that. that. Why, Why can't, can't you be you more be like your brother, brother Brian? Brian? All he needs, he needs is a sandwich, sandwich to be happy. Be happy. Oh, he's been, oh, been like that since he was a wee nipper. Oh, Brian, baby Brian. Boo, 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 boo. Brenda, 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 are you listening to me? Brenda! Oh, Yasmin, can you get those uh, readings over to my brother, Brian? I think, I think I need to go and lie down. All right. Oh, oh. Right away, Professor. I think I'm going to be sick. So who's going to clean all this up now? What's with all these socks? Oh well. Wow, that was fantastic to learn about Solomon wanting wisdom. Molly, I think I could do with some of that. Me too, Jen. But I'm excited about all the things we're going to learn about this week. Molly, we've got so much fun in the store. This is just day one. I mean, you know, there's lots more for us, for us to do. Yes, 
we'll put the Facebook website page that you can go on and kids <clears throat> we've got loads of crafts that you can do we've got activities that you can do inside and outside to keep you moving and we'd love you to send in your pictures of all the crafts that you've made and even send in some jokes because Jen and I we love a good laugh don't we Jen we do. <laughs> so send in your jokes just make sure to get an adult to upload your pictures and your jokes on our Facebook page. Good idea. And don't forget, tune in again tomorrow for some more Wonder Zone fun. But that's all from me. Yeah, that's bye from me, Molly Kuehl. And bye from me, Genetics. And we'll see you tomorrow, children. Same time. Same place. At Wonder Zone.